So for this video we are taking on Eclipse Hideout on Master Difficulty and we are choosing the Parlay option. The Parlay option means that the field lane is replaced with the Eclipse lane and the Eclipse lane will trigger the last gasp effect of any creature played there. So, uh, as you may be able to tell from the list on the screen, uh, we're just going to run a massive amount of things with last gasp. You want to talk to the and basically our deck is trying to play like a control route um you can't really outvalue them without dragging it on um you kind of want to you want to run the control version i think because the opponent starts with skooma frenzy so uh the ice storms usually kind of help you even out because there's going to come a point and you'll see it here in the encounter there's going to come a point where they they just kind of keep punching you in the face uh abusing skooma frenzy and so you want to be able to rebound with something like ice storm and then play your late game fatties kind of win in that fashion I fly like go ahead and play that it's not going to get us anything like ultra awesome well maybe i'm wrong uh that could end up being incredibly relevant um it's likely just going to eat whatever this plays. He's going to skooma frenzy, I would imagine. Or it could die to the Ashlander. Nope. Wow, he let me have it, too. Okay. Very surprised by all of these actions. Save the Iron Swords for our Spy Masters later. Um, I guess we'll start with this. Just to put bodies on the board. I kind of want him to trade into me. I think we're just going to take the drain. Yeah. Like, I'd rather take take the health there. Um, alright. Let's go ahead and we'll spy master. I know we could have masterminded, but... Let's actually get some of these off the board so that if we do have to ice storm, we can deal with that accordingly. So let's do the same thing here. We want our ice storm to kind of leave as little behind as possible. Uh, Archmage ends up being pretty decent as well, uh, clearing this lane out. That's really good news that he got a zero. Zero trigger mastermind. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we do this. Ash Servant seems good. And yeah, I think we I think we take that. Again, we're we're kinda of playing the control game here, so I do love a load that bad boy up. By dawn and dusk, I move as a shadow. Got ways to refill our hand at this point. This this list has a ton of draw on it between couriers and schemers. The schemers are kinda of nuts in this as well. Um let's take that trade. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, sure. We'll take that trade too. My Draw a card. And yeah, let, let's just draw a card again. Why not? Again, we can cycle through a pretty ridiculous number of cards. We'll stand together. As long as we kind of keep fighting this and letting this beat somebody in the face, we'll be fine. The ambition of the Telvani knows no power. Can't you see our ah. physics? Ah. Do you remember when I said we have lots of card draw? Was not Expect kidding. The unexpected. <laughs> oh. Um, this actually looks like a fine 
potential ice storm turn, but... I mean, we could just Arc Mage too and clear all of that up. Yeah, that's. Let's do that. It clears out the lane, and then if you play stuff into this lane to kill this, it clears it out a second time. It also gets us with a potential swing for six. Uh, and I kind of want to avoid the stuff that lets me draw cards at this point because. We're so kind of wrecked in that regard. Uh, Ashlander, sure. Um, and that should be lethal, right? We've got that, and then we also have Lightning Bolt or Kinsman, so... Uh, there you have it. That's the encounter. Just fight for control of this, push damage through as you can. Um, let us talk like civilized people. As long as you don't lose control of this, and we didn't even need the ice storms, but they can really help clean things up. As long as you don't lose control of that eclipse lane, uh, you can basically take this encounter pretty easily.